joined by Heat reporter Ethan Skolnick from Five Reason Sports. What the hell, man? <laughs> what, what are you hearing about what happened on that team plane? Well, here's the thing. This was not just about what happened on the team plane. Right. The, the, the 10-game suspension, this is a culmination of events, two of which have kind of been widely reported this year, which was the Instagram stuff about Eric Spolster and the stuff on the bench yes. during the preseason game. Yeah. But I've been told there's at least three other events that have not this been season? publicized. Yes. So this was kind of like the last, 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 last straw. And remember, this is between the team and Dion. The league hasn't gotten to this yet. So the 10 game suspension from the team, there could be additional suspensions. As on best top you of know, this. the marijuana gummies is accurate. As far as I know, something happened on that plane. I, I don't want to speculate about some of what's been out there about maybe it was given to Dion by somebody else. Yeah. The, the point is the team is fed up. And here's the other thing, Steve. There's been no interest. Like everybody's like, why can't you get rid of Dion? Because nobody has wanted Dion, and now they're going to want him even less. I was going to ask you, 10 game suspension. Uh, can they cut him? They no. owe money. How does it work? No, they're not going to be able to cut him. Look, I, the way I view this right now, I thought they would have to attach an asset like a Derek Jones Jr. or something else to move Dion off the books and maybe bring in a contract that wasn't great. Yeah. Right now, there's really not much they can do. They're going to send him away. I've been told by people, do not expect Dion Waiters to play for the Miami Heat again. Ever. Ever. The Heat are six and three, but they did lose two out of three on this recent West Coast road trip. What do you make of the team through nine games? Well, I think they're in great position. I mean, they've got a, a softer schedule coming up, but the biggest thing is on that road trip, look, did they have tired legs against the Lakers? Absolutely. You're dealing with Anthony Davis and LeBron. The same case in Denver, which is a very difficult yeah. place to play. But you come back at six and three. There's been some good things that they've shown, some issues too. I think they need to find another big who's consistent next to Bam Adebayo. Okay. Obviously, you got to integrate Justice Winslow back in with Jimmy. Butler and Kendrick Nunn, who we'll talk about, has tailed off a little bit. But overall, six and three, nobody's run away in the East. They're right there with Philadelphia and Milwaukee. We all had, and Boston. And Boston. We all had Kendrick Nunn in the All Star game. <laughs> Through uh, his first five games, he was averaging 22 points, uh, better than 50% shooting. Last four games, though, averaging nine points on 34% shooting. What happened to Kendrick? Well, it happens. I mean, he's on the scouting report now. When I talked to him about it, he said it hadn't really affected him yet, and then it started to affect him. I think what teams are starting to do to him is they know he wants to be a scorer, they're trying to force him to be a passer. Steve, that's an adjustment, okay. but I think he's going to be fine. I don't think there are major holes in his game. I do think, though, with Justice back in the lineup with Jimmy, you could see Tyler Hero eventually move into that starting lineup. I think that might give them a little bit of a better look off the bench. Instead of putting Hero with Dragic, who's been terrific, yes. they put none with Dragic off the bench. And again, Dion is totally out of the picture right now. Six and three. Next five games are against teams that are now under 500. Beginning with Detroit on Tuesday, will the Heat be 11 and three? I don't know if they'll be 11 and 3, but I think it's safe to say they'll be 10 and 4. Remember, the big issue that this team has had the past couple of years has been losing to bad teams. So can they get over that issue this year? I think they have enough depth that they can. And I, I just feel very good about where they are as a team right now. So I'm going to say not 11 and 3, but I think 10. I think they go 4 and 1, and they're 10 and 4. So that's Tuesday with Detroit. Tell the good people how they can listen to you, read you, get all about you. Well, the biggest thing is the Five on the Floor podcast, which we put out almost every day, and downloads are soaring in part because the team is competitive. But also check out FiveReasonsSports.com. That's spelled out. And it's free, unlike the, some of the other websites <laughs> down here. That's a we shot. Don't, we, don't have a, we don't have a paywall. We don't have a paywall. We are totally free. Ethan Skolnick, 5 Reason Sports. Thanks, Ethan. No problem.